Hi, my name is Callahan Robertson. I'm one of the welding instructors here at Chattahoochee Tech. We're at the Appalachian campus today. We're going to look at some of the different tools and equipment that you're going to need throughout your welding classes. Okay, so your first day of welding class, there's only a couple things that you're going to need. Pencil, paper, something to write with, a notebook, a pair of gloves, and a pair of safety glasses. If you have that on day one, you're prepared, you're good to go. So on the first day of class, we'll go over all the different types of equipment, everything you're gonna need, and we're gonna do kind of the same thing today. So one of the two most important things you're gonna need in your welding classes, safety glasses and gloves. So generally, anytime you're in the welding lab, you're gonna to need to have safety glasses on. Um, if you wear regular glasses, that's fine. You don't have to wear safety glasses on top of your regular glasses. Also, a good pair of leather work gloves. All right, the main thing here is leather gloves. So no, no mechanics gloves with synthetic materials. You know, they need to be leather. They need to be able to hold up to hot materials without melting to your hands. Next thing, a pair of Shade 5 tinted safety glasses. So you will use these in the intro class and all of your cutting classes and as well as throughout the program. So these are not regular sunglasses. These are Shade 5 tinted safety glasses. They need to be minimum Shade 5. So the next thing, a good pair of heavy duty welding gloves. All right, so we've got a couple different styles here. These are my personal ones. You can see they're a bit used and abused, but your stick welding gloves, they need to be a heavy duty gauntlet style glove. So when we say a gauntlet glove, you know, it has this big cuff on it as opposed to your regular work gloves that don't cover your wrist here. So we talked a minute ago about having long sleeves. Um, in class and stuff, I don't require you to have on long sleeves. You see I have on short sleeves today. But once we get out in the lab, we start working, you can have you know, some type of welding jacket. I prefer to just use a welding sleeve like this because you can just simply pull it over your arms and you're protected. Then you don't have to have long sleeves on you know, the rest of the time we're in class talking and, and in, the, in the classroom. So again, we got a couple different styles. These are just a fire retardant welding material. These are leather. Again, you know, it's just personal preference. I prefer the ones that don't have the cuffs. Some people like different styles. Again, our jacket, um, they're all different types of styles of jackets, leather welding jackets, half jackets, bibs. This is just kind of a fire retardant work shirt. Again, either one is fine. We've had students come through and they wear nothing but an old hoodie the whole time. Again, that's totally acceptable as long as your arms are covered up while we're working. Next thing, a welding cap. Again, not required, but a good thing to have if you, if you choose. And it just goes on underneath your welding hood, helps protect the top of your head. All right, so the next thing we'll get into is our couple of different styles of welding hoods. So we've got a few different types of welding hoods here we can look at. This is our most basic welding hood. So this is a thick shade hood, meaning this, this lens here is dark all the time. You will not be able to see through it until you start the welding process. Good hood, great hood, been used you know, for years on end by people all, all throughout the industry, but not necessarily the best hood to learn how to weld on. So these two other style hoods, these are what we call auto darkening hoods. So if you look through this now, you can see through it totally fine and it's not gonna go dark until you start the welding process. So we have kind of a, a high end, a low end hood here. Either one is sufficient. You know, it's all about budget at this point but you, do, you should invest in an auto darkening hood. If, you're, if you know that you're gonna be serious about welding, you know you're gonna go into the industry, it's in your interest to just go ahead and invest in a quality hood. Um, that way you can, you can learn a little bit more effectively. It's a little easier to see what's going on. Um, usually the, the higher end hoods are a little more ergonomic. They're a little more comfortable. You have a bigger viewing area. So, and again, we'll talk about all this stuff on the first day of class. You know, we'll look at different hoods, we'll pass different hoods around, we'll talk about the pros and the cons of, of more affordable hoods versus high, more high-end hoods. Also, when you buy your welding hood, most of them are gonna come with extra cover lenses. If it doesn't, go ahead and grab you a couple extra cover lenses too. And this just protects your lens from the welding spatter and stuff. These are gonna wear out, they're gonna get dirty, they're gonna get scratched up, so you're gonna need to have a few extras. Also, keep in mind, you can see the state of these gloves. All of these materials are gonna be consumable, all right? So, you know, in a semester or two, you may completely wear out a pair of gloves. So if you get a set, you don't necessarily like them, you can try a different style later on. You're gonna, you're gonna find what you like and don't like, and you 
try out and use different things throughout the, the program. All right, well, thanks for watching. Um, I hope, hope you've enjoyed taking a look around the welding department and what you're gonna need for classes. Uh, if you have any questions about classes in the future, if you're a current student, prospective student, um, you can look at our page on the Chattahoochee Tech website. Um, you can contact me through my email address as well as all of our other e uh, instructors' emails are on that page as well. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you in class.